Hi everyone. Um, I had issues. Um, I was I was thinking of making a video of how to get um, Asus Memo Pad to be working with um, USB hosting. Um, it was really tricky. I knew that it's capable of doing it, but I had to do so many things to get it working. And especially I want to get it working with uh, my card copter so then I can get telemetry data using the radio. So this is going to be a short video of how to get it working. Um, first you have to do is you have to root the device. Um, I don't know whether you guys are com um, comfortable with doing that. But um, it's necessary otherwise you can't do it. So first you have to get it running. First, first get it uh, the rooted the whole device, and and check make sure that it's working. Then there's another key point that you need to do, uh, otherwise it won't work. Um, there is a app called USB Host Diagnostics. You need to install this app, and run it. And and when you run it, it says um, let's see if they can run it. Um, now it's working with mine. Um, First, we have to um, run the USB diagnostic, and it will tell you if there's something wrong, and they will automatically fix it. And you need to install this app, and uh, all the other apps I tried didn't work. So this is the only app that worked with with my um, Memo Pad Seven. Um, make sure that you install that, run it, and it will fix it. After that, even if you upgrade the firmware, even if you, you lose um, routing on the on, on the firmware, it doesn't matter. It's gonna work, and I'm gonna demonstrate how it's gonna work. Um, first, you need to have this cable, which I bought from eBay, and it's it's basically USB OTG cable that has power in. So that means your uh, the pad doesn't have to power the whatever the USB device that you plug it in. So it it's powered by a um, charger. And other thing is when you do this, um, when you plug this right now, just without plugging any devices in, it will charge the device. But if you plug a USB device into this, it wouldn't charge the device. Uh, but it, it will work with USB uh, or the hosting. The issue with it, with it is the this memo pad is not uh, producing. It's not giving any power out. To support any USB device, like plug it in and working with it. But the chip inside the USB, um, the chip that works with the USB is capable of hosting, but not capable of giving power. Um, I don't know exactly what what what's the deal with it, but if you do this, if you just have the USB OTG cable, um, um, yeah, and if you have a charger that works with the um, the connector that comes with it. Then it works. Um, let me keep the camera on the side, then I can plug it in and show you. So just plug the whatever the device is you want it to run on the pad, and simply plug it in. Now, if the um. If the device is capable of whatever that, that, that device um, that you plug it in, it will show up automatically what kind of app you want to open in. If that didn't work, just open the app and it will just come simply works. Or if it's just a mouse or a keyboard, it will just start working right away. In my case, I have to open um, the app that works with my telemetry for my card copter. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay. So, this is the app that I'm working with uh, that I needs to be opened to work with this device. So then it will talk to my card copter. And to show that it's working... Oh, you had to press connect. I don't know why it's not working. Let me check again. So I'm going to put the camera down. 
Oh, okay, now it's working. As you can see, now it's asked what app you want to open. So, if I open with that, and if I press connect, now it's working. As you can see, it's it's sending data, can't getting any sound data in. Sorry about that. Um, I had a charter guy coming in, so I had to go show him the cable so that he can check that my internet that's going out and coming in. Anyways, um, so it's working as you can see. If I move my card copter, it moves. I mean, it's gonna communicate and it's working perfectly fine. Um, anyways, um, yeah, one main thing is this: you need to get this cable. I bought it from eBay. I'll leave the I'll leave where you can buy this from eBay, and I'll leave the description down in the in the description. Um, the link down in the description. And um, um, and you need to root the device and install that app, and it should be good to go. I hope you guys like it. Leave any if you have any questions, leave any comments down there.